In this video, we will learn about Thales of Miletus, the first philosopher in the Western tradition, one of the seven sages of Greece. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back viewers to the channel JGO. If you are new here, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you are old, thanks so much for subscribing. As said earlier, we will be examining the brilliant ideas of Thales, his philosophies and once more his contribution to geographic thoughts. Thales was born in the city of Miletus a Greek colony on the west coast of present-day Turkey. He lived from roughly 625 BC to 546 BC. Thales was such a great thinker. He used rationalization and deductive reasoning to understand the world in a period where every activity was defined and explained by the supernatural. In other words, he sought to find naturalistic explanations of the world without any engagement in the affairs of the supernatural. He is thus regarded as one of the seven sages of Greece. But who were the seven sages of Greece? They were renowned men. Men with great wisdom and thinking abilities who helped in the formulations of laws at the time. There is an intriguing question to be asked here. What was Thales' main goal? What was the reason behind his philosophical thinking, which made his view diverse from that of his countrymen? Well, Thales sought to discover the unifying element which could explain all natural phenomena. Such was the goal of all the pre-Socratics at the time. Thales proposed that the earth and everything in it originated from water. He described the earth as a flat object which floated on the oceans. Until 1769 AD, when Antoine Laviosa conducted some of his experiments, Thales' conception about the composition of the earth from water was not disproved. Thales was very much obsessed with the location and measurement of phenomena on the surface of the earth. It is said that he measured the height of pyramids using a theorem in geometry called the intercept theorem. He successfully calculated the duration of the year and the timing of the equinox and the solstices. Thales once more explained the formation of earthquakes. This explanation arose from his idea that the earth floats on water which contains waves. As we may know, earthquakes are formed when sudden displacements in the earth crust produce energy in the form of seismic shock waves. It was brilliant from him to associate waves in the formation of earthquakes. Remarkably, Thales predicted the solar eclipse of 28 May 585 BC. An eclipse he predicted in the sphere of a war involving the Lydians and the Medes. As a mathematician, six geometric projections are credited to him. The first of them is that a circle is divided into two equal parts by a diameter. Angles at either ends of the base of isosceles triangles are equal. He says in his third projection that two parallel lines crossed diagonally by a straight line produce equal angles on opposite sides of the straight line. In his fourth, angles in semicircles are right angles. 
the sides of similar triangles are proportional. In his fifth projection, he states that two triangles are said to be congruent if they have two angles and a side respectively equal. This brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, kindly give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Goodbye.